What draws me to the inspiration I get from artists and, and characters of history are the ones that have such faith in themselves and courage to do what is their passion to do, that they'll take the risk without knowing what the result is. My father thought this was a waste of time, um, but I knew that when I was involved in the theater, and the theater to me is not just acting, it's acting, it's directing, it's uh, design, it's a whole world. I thought being involved in that world made me happy and I felt I could, as a result, give. I personally get this, this chill up my spine and, and, and on the top of my head. And for me that signifies those moments when something is being said that's, that's dangerous. Fellini for me allows me to free myself from, uh, from what he calls the dull horror of daily melancholy and make it something more magical. Moments in the city um, kind of create a lot of the stories. You watch somebody and they begin to cry and you don't know why and they're trying to battle holding back tears or why somebody's laughing but doesn't want to show anybody laughing. I don't have a single person or a single concept that's inspiring. It's more about watching a group make something collaboratively. That makes me feel like humans as a whole can do anything, you know, and that I could do anything for being a part of that. I am so grateful to have been inspired by other um, artists of passion who, who um, are unafraid. Um, to me, what I get from David, the shepherd boy and the king, is fearlessness.